Welcome to the Do Zone, where entrepreneurs go to get things done. I'm your host, Josh Thomas. You can find me on all social media at JT Literally. Each week, I bring on experts from a variety of backgrounds to share their secrets on how to optimize performance so you can take massive action and crush your goals. Speaking of optimizing performance, we now have trained AI employees ready to help you get more done in less time for a fraction of the cost of a human employee. If you're interested, send me a quick DM on Facebook at JT Literally. We'll have a chat, see if that's something that makes sense for you. Today's guest is Ben Johnson. Ben is the CEO and founder of Particle 41, a dev firm founded by industry veterans that aims to help companies accelerate their initiatives through software development, DevOps, and data science. Ben, welcome to the Do Zone. Tell us something you believe is the key to getting stuff done that most people wouldn't think of. You know, uh, for years, I tried to multitask. I'm, I'm now a monotasker. I think, uh, you know, really focusing on calendar blocking and uh, getting the highest priority thing done right away. And, and some um, just checked out a book called Deep Work uh, and learned a lot from that. Just really focusing on a primary task and um, checking in with, uh, with just doing the easy stuff. You know, surfing email. And answering slacks is kind of the easy stuff. It feels like work, but um, I begin to question if that's really uh, that's really productivity. You know, it's, you're opening up a can of worms here because uh, we tend towards the easy stuff. Oh, let me knock this out real quick. It'll just take a minute. And that minute turns into two minutes. And oh, let me do this real quick. And then before you know it, death of a thousand paper cuts. We're at the end of the day. We didn't actually get anything done. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Right at the, right at the apex of getting something really good done. Oh, I need to check my stocks or I need to, uh, maybe I've missed something that FOMO is really a productivity killer. Yeah, that's right. And so one thing that I know that you can speak on at a high level is building uh, tech teams and technology can get really complicated, really fast, and we can be surrounded by a thousand distractions. And so talk to us a little bit about uh, for all of us who are surrounded by so much technology, we have apps on our phone, we have Zoom calls, I got this microphone and this camera, I got all kinds of things going around me all the time that are going to keep me focused on anything else besides getting work done. And so how do we really handle that and, and keep focused? How do we embrace technology to have it be a tool rather than a burden? Yeah, you know, I think the primary thing is curating those alerts, you know, those things up in the uh, up in the upper right hand corner. Uh, sometimes I can hyper focus. So when I say curate, I mean, there are some that are good, like, hey, there's a meeting that's starting right now. That's a good one. I can have kind of some time blindness uh, in my current task. But the hey, you just got a new Facebook post or so and so just posted their, you know, baby pictures or whatever, not the best alert. Um, so curating, uh, being a curator of your environment, we talk about that a lot internally, um, just to make sure that your environment, your digital environment, your laptop, your workspace is uh, is ready and, and suitable for deep work. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. And and so talk to us a little bit about what is what does it take? Uh, you built a, a SaaS company from the ground up. What are what are some of the trials and tribulations of starting from ground zero like that and, and taking it through to being successful? Yeah, so I think uh, goal setting is huge for me. Uh, establishing a strategic plan. Uh, uh, I use the OKR framework for my goal setting, making sure that I also have measurements and objective things behind those, and that I'm sharing that with my entire team so they know what we're all trying to mutually accomplish. I don't like mission statements that are like, oh, we're going to be the bee's knees at such and such thing for the you know greater human significance. I like the mission that we're going to hit this goal by the end of the year, like um, more of a shared goal rather than a shared mission so that everybody also knows how to measure their progress and measure our combined progress to that. Um, and so, yeah, annual goal setting is a big forte of mine. I also help clients with that quite a bit uh, so that um, so that everybody can just get super aligned. Um, and then I'm a big uh, kind of daily, like these things need to be accomplished today 
a, a daily kind of lister and, and calendar blocker, like, and when am I going to do them? Um, so that planning process I found is a real time, um, you know, time can be thought of in two ways you can use the Newton school of thought, which is their time is finite, or it can use the Einstein school of thought where time is relative. We, time comes from us. We make time. And, um, and I think even though both of those things may be true, uh, I prefer the Einstein school of thought that time comes from me. I make time. Uh, and so having that mindset, I think is key as well. Yeah. And, uh, I, a long, a long time ago, I established my own personal core values and my number one core value is make the time and, and making the time, it goes right along with what you're saying. I wasn't thinking Weinstein when, when I decided that, but, uh, the idea of making the time is you're not busy, you're unfocused. It's not that you don't have enough time because there's other people that have the same amount of time and they're getting more done. It's what you do with that time. You have to create the time to do the thing that you want to do. And if you don't, somebody else will create the time to do what they want to do and they'll steal it from you. Yeah. The second Dune movie just came out. So I'll use a Dune reference. When um, with when, when the, the, the main character sticks his hand in the box, right? And he's undergoing some kind of you know major pain that's psychologically being imposed on him. I'm sure time was very slow like it literally stood still you know when we're when we're in um and so that's why i'm kind of a nine sign thinker like time does slow down when we are focused and when we are uh in it to win it and so we make time time comes from us and and so um getting uh having an environment and being disciplined about focus uh, really does extend your time. It's the it is the ten xer, I think of of people who are kind of barely surviving versus people who seem to be able to just stay on top of any task. So tell us a little bit about Particle Forty One and what are what are some of the cool projects that you're working on right now? Oh sure, yeah, I'd love to. Um, so Particle Forty One, we're a group of. Uh, think of us as special operators. We have a uh, hundred um, people, but we uh, are really focused on modernizing the world's software. So uh, many of the projects we're working on right now, we totally crank out uh, mobile apps. We have a venture studio. So we even work with some young companies um, to get their apps to market. But we also work with enterprise companies that have legacy software. We're working on some now that are, you know, the, the old platform um, for uh, the rent to own space or the legacy platform that's managing restaurants. Um, and we're taking those legacy systems and we're modernizing them and we're getting them ready for the cloud. So the buzzword is app modernization. Um, and we've done about nine of these over the past uh, couple of years. And they're huge projects, but um, we really feel like we're the special operators. And so folks that are kind of sitting on um, older tech, it's getting slow. The people who know it are starting to phase out. Uh, we love to jump into those situations and put the, the business in, into a better place. Yeah, I love that. And so can you give me just a couple examples of some of these like app modernization, somebody that maybe is not so technical, but it would still apply to them. But can you give me an example of that? Yeah, sure. So uh, ServPro, uh, the, I think you've probably seen their commercials uh, like it never happened. Um, they're a big franchise for um, interior restoration. And um, they had some aging software that was on an old uh, data center where they had bought all the hardware and put it in the data center. And we got them set up on the cloud with um, a brand new software architecture that was actually cheaper to maintain and faster. Um, so I like to say for the people who are maybe uh, more muggles in, in the world, you know, um, you know, we fix slow. We fix slow. We take the old stuff, we make it new again, and we make it, uh, we make it fast. We, we fix slow in more ways than one. The, the performance of the actual page load that you're, the user is experiencing, but also slow delivery. Uh, we, we help accelerate uh, projects uh, by just getting getting stuff done uh, faster than most. 
Okay. Awesome. We, we fix slow. I can, I can latch onto that. And so where can, <laughs> uh, where can somebody go to learn more about what you do and, and see if it's a fit for them? Yeah. So um, our call to action on particle 41.com is schedule a call. So my Calendly is, is all over. It's on my LinkedIn profile. I love people to book meetings with me so that I can get to know them. Uh, and so uh, Ben at particle 41.com is my email address. And um, we're, we're pretty easy to find by particle 41.com or look us up at particle 41 on, on LinkedIn. Excellent. So, Hey, we're going to wrap up from here. Thanks so much to our guest, Ben Johnson from particle 41 for joining us and sharing some wisdom about how he gets stuff done. Uh, you can connect with him by going to particle 41. Dot com. Now, whether you're on your morning commute, you're in the gym or somewhere out in the field, snap a selfie, tag me at JT literally. Show me what you do while you're in the do zone. That's it. Let's get to work.